Hello, PAX East, and hello, Warriors of Light! Yay! Thank you for coming. We're so excited to see you. It's been a jam-packed week. We had patch 6.58 draw earlier, and we also had our official launch on Yay! Xbox Series X and Series S. Yay! We hope you've been treating all of our new sprouts as kindly as you can, and maybe have been picked up some uh, extra poetics as you've been queuing with them. That said, we have a lot of fun news coming, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce to the stage the producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV, Naoki Yoshida! Yay! Boo, no cosplay! Boo and a hiss, no cosplay, such. Thank you for coming today, and uh, thank you for watching our live stream. My name is Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> <laughs> san Oh yes, hi, I'm Aimi from Square Enix. I'll be helping Yoshida-san here with the translations today. <laughs> Everything I do is yay! But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to today's panel. Lots and lots of you out here. There. Fan fest, <laughs> It's like fan fest again. Yeah, it is. That is a really good setup. Yay! <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Woo! Today, on the PAX East main stage, from all of the world. They did get chairs. Kind of true. So for today's PAX main stage, uh, of course, we would like to thank all of our players, our warriors of light around the world, um, looking back at the 10 years of Final Fantasy XIV, and then also talk about some new stuff that's coming up and how we're going to proceed from there. Hey,改めてこうやって、こんな大きな会場でですね、こんなにたくさんのプレイヤーの皆さんと一緒に。So yeah, just having this opportunity and having a venue to speak about our title and get together with all of the players in and just get excited is such on, uh, an honor. So again, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, it doesn't all mean I players. know something. I'm literally saying, uh, even if I did, I could never tell you. Okay, fuck off. I'm sorry. That hat is incredible. <laughs> this guy is dead center of the camera on purpose. Because that cat, that hat is top shelf. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> Just like, hell yeah, brother. No trailer coming. Hey, let's go. I didn't skip, we went backwards. Okay, so I'd like to take a look at our trajectory what? since Yay, Yoji. 2013's so release of A Realm Reborn and the registered number of accounts. Oh, some numbers going left and right. We got some numbers. Realm Reborn released Screen X versus Blizzard, 4 million, uh, 10 million, 18 million. 18 million. Oh, this is registered accounts, not subs. So as you can see, yeah! we've seen an increase from 4 million to 10 million to 18 million. Uh, I'm not sure if I can believe the number of numbers, but I think I'm going to be able to get back to the numbers. But yeah, we are truly um, blown away by these numbers. It's almost unbelievable to us, but it's just so wonderful to have so much back, uh, a backup or support from you all. え、今日この会場に1.0から遊んでるよっていう方どれぐらいいますか?あ、ちゃね、ファンキーソーマッチ。あ、ちゃね、ファンキーソーマッチ。あ、ちゃね、ファンキーソーマッチ。あ、ち
I'm interested in what Yoshi's got to say. Though. 本当にここまで信じてプレーをしてくださって、改めてありがとうございます。Yeah, sure. um, yeah, we did start out really rough with the original 1.0 version, but I'm so glad、Despair. that you believed in us and you continued to stick with us. So thank you again. Yay! ではここからはちょっと各エクスパンションごとにどんな内容だったか皆さんと一緒に振り返っていきたいと思います。So from here, I'd like to talk about the different expansions that we released and what we went through with each one. Okay, I'm excited. RL Reborn, Final Fantasy XIV, の立て直しからですね Facts, make sure we got a recording of this. First is a Realm Reborn when we sort of rebuilt Final Fantasy XIV. 覚えてる方たくさんいると思うんですけど発売したのはいいんですが非常にサーバートラブル多くてですねあのダイアログあんま見たくないですよね Um, so, when we first、um, rebuilt 14, of course, I'm sure a lot of you may remember, but it's great that we were able to release the game, but with <laughs> the server troubles and login issues, you know, you see that all too yeah, At least we don't get any world、dialogue. server full right now. I know, I'm sure nobody、Sold. wants to see that again. But, I don't know, the end of the war, the end of the war, the end of the war, the That said, those of you who tried to log in at the start of Endwalker, I'm sure the numbers in that error dialogue was much higher, maybe three times the number. But with Dawn Trail, we have increased the number of servers, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this dialogue won't pop up for you guys. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, sure, sure, Yoshi P. Sure, dude. 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 By the way, I remember、uh, the challenge of Titan was quite, quite tough. So, with his landslide, we may have lost about 300,000 registered accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold <laughs> Okay, and with that,、uh, we released our first expansion, Heaven's Word. Yay! This crowd is not keeping this energy up, no way. Heaven's Word is not keeping this energy up, no way. Heaven's Word is not keeping this energy up, no way. Heaven's Word is not keeping this energy up, no way. Heaven's Word is not keeping this energy up, no way. Heaven's Word is not keeping this energy up, no way. Heaven's Word is not keeping this energy up, no way. So, with a Heaven's Word, we tried to look at the difficulty level of the different battles, encounters, dungeons. So,、uh, with the raids,、uh, we incorporated the normal and savage tiers. Heaven's Word was a lot of learning for us.、Um, we received a lot of feedback after the release of A Realm Reborn, and some of it was, oh, isn't the raid just a little too easy to get through? And so we were like, okay, fine, we get it. It was, it was a little bit easy. So we were like, okay, fine, we get it. Too much. <laughs> so we adjusted it. We adjusted the difficulty level, and now everybody was saying, No, it's too hard. You did it too far. <laughs> For the next <laughs> trick, we destroyed the raiding community. Yeah. Yeah. Well, watch this then, fuckers. But、um, with the feedback received, that is when we reviewed the job mechanics again and the different、uh, abilities that were available and made adjustments accordingly. えー、そしてなんといっても、えー、1.0 から僕、えー、担当するようになってなんとか開催したいと思っていたファンフェスが、えー、開催できるようになった年でもありました。And of course,、um, we were able to hold our very first fan festival this year. Yay! 
さあこの1回目のラスベガスのファンフェスタっていう方います By the way, with the first fan festival,、um, did any of you attend the very first Las Vegas fan festival? May I see a show of hands? Thanks. Oh, 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 you're, 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 ソンブラッドへ、えー、時代が移っていきます。Gotta say, the PAX audio is so good. まあ、ここは本当にたくさんのフィードバックをいただいて、まあ、ジョブのメカニクス、それからバトルコンテンツのメカニクスというところもかなり、えー、発展、試行錯誤が続いていったタイミングでもあります。And of course,、um, we continue to receive feedback and we,、um, we were able、Stop、to look to、missed. that to adjust、uh, the different job mechanics as well as the battle mechanics. えー、それと同時にコンテンツに関しても<笑>、えー、今なおたくさんの方に遊んでいただいている例えばエウレカとか、えー、タミズのコンテンツを実装していったりいろんなチャレンジ、まあ、ドマシキマージャンもそうですねコンテンツが縦にばっかりじゃなくて横にこう広がっていくタイミングにもなりました。And of course,、um, we try to diversify our content as well,、uh, including、uh, large scale multiplayer content like Eureka. I think some of you are still enjoying that content.、Um, <laughs> Domen Majan is another thing.、Um, so, not only did we sort of expand on the difficulty, now we're going for the breadth of content. Boo, Eureka! Boo. Boss, you love us, you unite! えー、チャットにはですね、皆さんのこうズズズズズズっていうのが出て、ノーモアエウレカって書かれたんですよね。You know, and when we were talking about Eureka back at the time in like a live letter, and we looked at the chat, and a lot of people were going z z z z z z or no more Eureka. Yeah. まあでもいろんなチャレンジをしてくるからこそコンテンツの広がりっていうのがあるんだというふうにあの今振り返るとねそういうふうに思えるえ拡張だったんじゃないかなと思います。Take on these challenges. That's why we were able to bring such variety of content. Correct. And so, that's why we were able to bring such variety of content. Correct. And so, that's why we were able to bring such variety of content. Correct. And of course, we released Shadowbringers. 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 目標にやってきたんですけど、その、えー、集大成に近いところが作れたんじゃないかなと思ってます。And so with this expansion, we kind of focused on the story and the RPG aspect of it, and trying to blend together the narrative into some of the combat that you encountered. And we feel that we were able to start reaching that sort of culmination point as of Shadowbringers.、えー、皆さんのおかげでですね、本当。RPG としても、えー、随分大きく成長させていただけたというふうに感じています。Help, we well. でこのあたりからどんどん本当に多くのプレイヤーの皆さんが「ファイナルファンタジー14」に訪れてきてくださることによってプレイヤーの皆さんのニーズっていうのもかなり様々になってきました。まあ、そこにいろんな形で対応していくという試行錯誤を始めたのもこの時期です。And of course, in, at this timing, there were more and more players joining Final Fantasy XIV, and、uh-huh. we realized that there are different needs for different players, and so that's、ah, what we started looking、happened. at accommodating for、mm. even more variety of content. And so, s o that's what we started looking at accommodating for even more variety of content. And with all that, it connected into Endwalker. こちらは MMORPG というね終わらない物語というか終わらない世界ではあるんですが、yeah, 節目ということで1回目のストーリーフィナーレを目指すという形で皆さんに本当に物語と体験をお届けしてまいりました。And of course, with Final Fantasy XIV, we are an MMORPG, which doesn't technically end per se,、um, but we tried to bring a sort of finale、uh, to a story arc at this time. ただそれと同時にやっぱり RPG としてのストーリーの評価の高さというところもあって本当にたくさんの人に遊んでいただけるように特にソロコンテンツそれからソロでプレイすること少人数で遊べると
行ったあたりのシステム開発にとにかく注力してきたタイミングでもあります。And of course, we have a lot of people、um, who enjoyed the story, and thankfully, we had some really great acclaim about our story、uh, being very robust for an RPG. And a lot of people were able to join Final Fantasy XIV. And with this expansion, we kind of focused in on solo content,、uh, those that can be enjoyed with either one person or a small group of people. Hey, you know, some of the people who are in the world are in the world. The、えー、Island Prison. <laughs> まあ、それを超えてなお、ストーリーに関わるインスタンスダンジョンはすべてコンテンツサポーターで、えー、ソロでクリアできるというところまでようやくたどり着くことができました。And so, of course,、uh, we implemented the duty support system so that players who want to enjoy the story and the encounters that are, are associated with it、um, can go into these different dungeons by yourself. And we were able to backtrack and support、uh, content or duty support from ARR all the way to Endwalker. まあ、世の中、あ、ありがとうございます。Oh, thank you. Thank you. You prefer your e c a t s above you. 世の中、不思議なもので。Why do you hate freedom? オンラインゲーム、MMORPG、人と関わって遊ぶのが嫌だということで、なかなかあの14をはじめとする MMO を手に取ってくださらない方というのも非常に多いです。Um, it is kind of curious because even if this is an online game where typically it's、uh, necessary for people to work with other players to play, there are certain people who hesitate because they don't want that sort of interaction with other yes, players. Yes, they do.、And、other、so、people are poisoned. Try Final Fantasy XIV. But, in this case, I'm going to play a game with the solo tie. I'm going to play a game with the solo tie. I'm going to play a game with the solo tie. I'm going to play a game. 皆さんの本当に温かいコミュニティの力に触れてどんどん光の選手たち増えてそして育っていってるのを実感します。That said,、um, with content、uh, duty support,、um, of course, that also helped. But then the community welcomed these new people s and they were able to support them through their growth. And I think we were able to grow in numbers、uh, of our Warrior of Light. So I think that's also a, a great、um, step forward as well. えー、そしてそれらの状況を受けて、えー、次に我々が目指していくのが新たな拡張パッケージとなります。So with all that said, Ooh, now we're striving for the future, which leads us to our next expansion. Yay! Tacos! We're going to the beach. Extra yays! さあ。こちらファイナルファンタジー14としては 7.0 と呼んでます。So、uh, on the Final Fantasy 14 team internally we call this、uh, 7.0. Summer 2024って書いてあるね。We say summer 2024. おいリリースデートまだ出ないのか。And I know people are saying, well, when when are we gonna find out about the release date? Uh, don't worry, we will talk about it just later in the presentation. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's so good. He thinks he's so hot shit right now. 7.0. <laughs> don't worry, we will talk about it just later in the presentation. Oh, he thinks he's so good. He thinks he's so hot shit right now. 7.0. Don't worry, we will talk about it just later in the presentation. 10年次の10年に際して我々が、えー、まず最初にチャレンジしていこうと思っていることがこちらです。So one of the first challenges we want to take on for the next 10 years is going to be this.、Okay. えー、これまで、まあ、6.0、点、so、点、X シリーズで、えー、たくさんのカジュアルプレイヤー、<笑>ソロプレイヤーたちを迎える準備というのができましたので。ここからは改めて MMORPG としてさらに、えー、高みを目指して進化にチャレンジをしていこうと思います。The Titans know they need to plan long term these days. And Walker through the 6.x patch series, we were making different preparations to welcome in those more casual leaning players or people who wanted to enjoy con. Content by themselves solo. So with Dawn Trail, we want to aim for.、Uh, Evolving as an MMORPG. So, really curious what they see that as. What is the next evolution of MMORPG? 
So um, I would like to go through what we're thinking about specifically okay. um, in a sort of like an overview of our concept. Come on, my balls, Yoshi. What are we looking at? First of all, one thing. So of course we would like to focus in on multiplayer aspect as one of those things. それに際してラジスケル、他人数で遊べると。So with that we would like to refine or to tackle on more large scale duties. エウレカやボズヤに続くバトル系の大型の探索コンテンツというのの開発もすでにスタートしています。So content that kind of are in the same vein of Eureka or Bozia is going to be in the works. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck that up again. まあこのあたりもちろんまだ公表してないコンテンツというのも開発スタートしてたりはするんですが、とにかく。ファイナルファンタジー14というゲームたくさんの、えー、価値観のプレイヤーに遊んでいただけているその力を今回 7.0 以降 7.1、7.2 でこうみんなで遊ぶということをさらに突き詰めていけたらなと思ってます。And so there are lots of content we're trying to develop right now. Some of them that may not be mentioned here today in today's presentation, but we understand that there are a lot of different values that people hold、um, as they are playing Final Fantasy XIV. So we want to also focus in on large-scale content, multiplayer content,、um, as we go through、um, 7.1 and 2 and beyond. まあもちろんその 6.X シリーズでね、バリアントダンジョンみたいな少人数で遊ぶコンテンツっていうのもそのシステム開発。しっかりできましたので、えー、それらをやらないというわけじゃなくて、えー、そういったコンテンツもやりながらさらにラージスケールのコンテンツも作っていきます。Of course, we're not neglecting the solo or smaller scale content like the variant dungeons. We will continue to update that.、Mm. Um, and so it's going to be more in parallel. We're going to have the smaller scale content versus the, the large、um, participating content. So I'm guessing、well. the solo stuff will、えー、just be kind of iterated on a little bit. And one, another important element that I want to cover is this. So of course, a more fulfilling gaming experience is how we worded it, but we want to kind of focus in on this as well. What does that mean? Eh, 例えば、まあ本当に世界中たくさんのプレイヤーの方のフィードバックから、まあ我々こうじゃこの遊び答えって何かというと、こうボスのターゲットサークルがやけくそにこうでかくなってったりとか。So, for example,、uh, this is one of the many feedback that we have received、um, in, that kind of relates to that fulfilling gaming experience. For example, the target circle of your enemy, the hitbox, is ridiculously large at this point. あとこうギミックの内容に関してもちょっと似たようなものが増えてきて、実際にプレイしていてもちょっとまたこのパターンなのかとか、まあもちろん。なんだろう、こう経験が積みやすいから楽ではあるんですけど、実際にちょっと自分でプレイしてても眠くなってくるなっていうのがあったりしてます今。And in terms of battle mechanics,、um, they tend to be very similar content to content. And some people might feel that it's very repetitive, feels like a pattern almost. And of course, it might help if you are trying to build your like, gameplay experience and try to get a, a hang of it. But for some players, me included, I kind of get sleepy because it, it kind of gets routine and mundane. <laughs> まあ僕はあんまりこうゲームしながら寝落ちすることないんですけど、ちょっと疲れてると眠くなってきたってなるんで、もうちょっとエキサイトメントを高めていきたいと思います。You know, we rarely fall asleep when we're playing games if we're really into it. But then sometimes when I get too tired, it's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna.、Um... So I'm trying to see if I can spice it up a little, bring the excitement back. さあここで注意点です。Uh, that said, I do want to advise you. こういう話をすると、やばい吉田また難易度を上げようとしてるって思う方たくさんいらっしゃいます。Like、when I talk、dungeons. about something like this, I know some people might get a knee-jerk reaction of, "Oh no, Yoshida is going to make everything difficult again." <laughs> <laughs> ももっともっとと興奮してもらうためにもっともっと新しいギミック
あオリジナリティのあるものっていうのを作っていきたいとそういう意思表明だと思ってください。We're trying not to、Soap、make your、circle. lives difficult. It's just we want to、Meteor. bring a little bit more、Spread. uniqueness, something that is new、right. and original into these battles. So、um, rest assured. I'm not sure if I'm going to say that, but I'm going to say that the player is going to be able to do it. I'm going to say that the player is going to be able to do it. I'm going to say that the player is going to be able to do it. I'm going to say that the player is going to be able to do it. So, in the Japanese word, there's this word, Thinking with your own mind and kind of figuring out, figuring it out. So, I think we want to encourage players to build your own strategies, kind of talk to each other in your party to strategize and kind of encourage that kind of gameplay also. So, we have to do a lot of things that we have to do. We have to do a lot of things that we have to do. We have to do a lot of things that we h a v だんだん慣れてきてしまった14を今一度エキサイトを持って楽しめるようにえさらに拡大させていこうというのが当面の目的に目標になります。And so, of course, we would love to take challenges. I would like for my developers to be able to take on challenges, take risks in creating their content. And of course, we may screw up. We、like、may、that. have a misstep and we might be up、yeah. here apologizing to our players once、oh, again. I'm totally But, down for、um, that. You know, we don't want things to be mundane. We want you guys to be excited as you play Final Fantasy XIV. まあ、こうなると、ジョブはどうなるのかっていう心配があると思うんですが。Sure、kind of talk, like, well, so、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、そういう時に、So, because we are reaching a sort of milestone level cap, which is level 100, it's not, we don't intend to upset everything. Yeah, I mean, Again, never, never one and zero binary this. It might be one or two mechanics on top of everything else. It's kind of like, add on to just a little bit different. It only needs one. We don't make the whole account of that one. Well, first of all, content is going to be. よりエキサイトメントを高めるというのを 7.1、7.2、7.3 と徐々にね、こうやっていこうと思いますのでよろしくお願いします。So of course we're going to be focusing on the content itself and the encounters throughout、um, 7.1, 2 and 3 to bring back that sort of excitement. まあ遊び応えとかチャレンジを増やすのいいけど、なんかちょっとメリットもうちょっとくれよ。Once you reach 100, you don't really want to go past that. And so we talked about how we're going to bring back excitement to the content itself, but you know, well, what is it? What's in it for me? え我々今取り組んでいるのがプレイヤーの皆さんにえ獲得していただくリワードというものを大幅に増やしていこうという目標を作り始めてます。I know that sounds ridiculous. So, with that, it is, we are looking into sort of improving the rewards、uh, so that、um, yeah, we can sort of. The number itself is off putting to people. Well, this is the ARR from the ARR. I think that this is the first time that the reward is going to be used. I think that this is the first time that the reward is going to be used. I think that this is the first time that the reward is going to be used. I think that this is the えー、皆さんにお届けする報酬というのもさらに量を増やしていこうと思ってます。And so, with the different expansions throughout、um, since we released ARR up to this point, we were unable to increase the number of rewards per patch that we give、um, in terms of gear or mounts. And so, looking to the future and just considering how. Wide and broad, we have become with the different content that we offer.、Um, we would like to look into increasing the amount of rewards that we are providing our players. 7.1 から徐々に増やしていく今計画になっていて、おおよそ 7.3 ぐらいの時には今の1パッチあたりの報酬が 1.5 倍ぐらいまで増やせるんじゃないかなと思います。Um, so, the plans are in place. So, our goal is that by patch 7.3 ish,、um, we would have maybe 1.5 times more compared to current. Just a number of rewards, okay.
、まあ、たくさんの皆さんから、えー、たくさんね利益もいただいてますので、えー、さらに還元してとにかく皆さんと一緒にさらにこう14盛り上げていこうと思いますのでどうぞよろしくお願いします。So, with your subscriptions and, and just use, continuing to stay with us, we have、um, collected from you, so we want to give back. So, we want to continue looking into things like this. So, this is the start of the Dawn Trail. This is the first time I've been here. I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time. So, Dawn Trail,、um, I know we've announced many、uh, information, but I just wanted to do a very quick recap of what we've already talked about. Oh God, not the Lala Felchins. Not again. Of course, two new jobs Viper and Pictomancer. Please. No more Lala Chins. I can't, I can't see more Lala Chins. Hey, level cap, mo, tsui ni, level cap, tsui ni, 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 t ただそろそろ我々 8.0 のことも考えなきゃいけないので110にするのか120にするのか150にするのか一旦全部50に戻そうかいろんなことを話し合い始めてます。That said, we also have to start looking into what should we do for 8.0 and do we raise it just another 10 levels, 20 levels, 50 levels or do we just reset everything and go back to 50? <laughs> まあ、でもそれぐらいやっぱ長期計画を持ってねえさらにこの先10年20年と続けていきたいのでまあいろんなことをもうすでに計画をし始めてます。Um, that said,、um, jokes aside, we are looking into a long term plan. That's why we're trying to also look at what would it look like 10 years, 20 years from now.、うんえー、そして、oh, ありがとうございます。Oh, thank you. えー、そして改めてですね、yeah, Xbox ファンの皆さんに大変お待たせしましたが、Xbox でもつい先日ですね、えー、正式ローンチをすることができました。And of course,、um, Xbox players, thank you so much for your patience. We were able to release the Xbox version of Final Fantasy XIV. Yay! <笑> the levels 3D.、えー、さらに。Maybe they should reverse it. Oh, they've got Paragon levels. Technically, it's still 100. Cosmic exploration, I'm really excited for. Cosmic exploration, I'm really excited for. New areas, new threats, new dungeons we have prepared for you. Of course, a new raid will be launched. As I said earlier, the players will play together as a concept. I do hate crafting. I don't hate crafting. That's the wrong word. I just haven't done it. I'm not interested in crafting. I don't hate it. I don't hate crafting. I just don't give a shit about crafting. It's a different thing. 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 えー、そして、こんなさまざまなチャレンジと要素を詰め込んだ、えー、ファイナルファンタジー14、7.0 の16 Don't trail <笑>。<笑> Um, so, of course, with a lot of challenges that we are taking for the new Final Fantasy XIV expansion, not 16, 7.0. <laughs> Early access. Now, of course, we are all going to wait to the true release, right? We're all waiting for the true release because we're good. Nobody here is going to play it in early access, right, guys? I'm going to say it in the same way. Final Fantasy XIV, Don't Trail, 6 月 I am not going to stream until the true release. To be respectful for the devs' vision. To be respectful for the devs' vision. Um, so, thank you so much for your patience. I know we waited for a long time to announce this, but、uh, we are happy to say that we are planning to start early access on June 28th and、uh, official yeah, release you, on July 2nd, and we're making our final adjustments on those.
expect this going forward from every big MMO. Um, so with this early access start date, um, we actually wanted to start it a week earlier. Elden Ring DLC. We figured everybody would be interested in playing the Elden Ring DLC. I'll give you one week. Jesus, Cowboy Boy's not impressed. Cowboy's not impressed. Don't give a fuck. Fuck Elden Ring. So, I'll give you one week to enjoy Elden Ring DLC and then just go into your summer vacation into Dawn Trail. That's a good deal. <laughs> um, just want to make it clear, it's not because I want to play Elden Ring DLC and then play <laughs> <laughs> Although I am looking forward to it. So, the release early access of the release of the the collector's edition. So, because we have a release date, um, I would like to touch upon the collector's edition. Um, so, if we could have the. Um, Are we cheering this? We want to okay. show the Yay! content of what the physical collector's edition entails. Ooh, shiny! That's my boy! <laughs> Christ, he's got so much jewelry! Jingle jangles! え、まずコレクターズエディション。まあ、ここにデッドブルツリーでね、え、持ってきたんですけど。今回、え、フィギュアがまたついてます。え、今回バイパーの、え、光の戦士、え、ハイクオリティフィギュアになっております。Okay, so getting into the contents of the physical collector's edition. As you can see, we have our high quality Viper figure. え、そして冒険には欠かせない今回、え、Final Fantasy map. That looks yes, really poor quality. Our map of the realm. Hold on. Let me neatly put this away. え、そして、え、光の戦士たちが冒険でね、使ってる愛用の気候録を今回ね、物理アイテムとして作ってみました。Okay, um, next is the unending journal, uh unending journey as a journal form, sorry. It's got the cutscenes in it. では、こちらね、当然中身、皆さんで埋めてってください。so, of course, it is literally a journal, so um you can note down um your adventures in this book. え、そして続いてがですね、こちら何かというと、あの、ちょっと古風なペン入れになってます。And so this um it's actually a sort of like a vintage looking uh pen case. かなりこだわってね、作りましたので、ま、冒険者感というのを大事にしながら作ってます。um, but yeah, we were really uh, meticulous about the design of this pen case, um, kind of uh, replicating that feeling of an adventurer taking his sort of writing utensils and storing it into this kind of envelope. Uh, the fuck? You can roll it up. Uh -huh. And roll it up. Yeah. And it has a string that you can close it. Whoa! <laughs> 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 string goes around it, guys. So of course, um, you can utilize this for not just pens, but any um, sort of stick-like objects to put in there. <laughs> <laughs> え、そして、ちょっと待ってくださいね。手袋した方がいいかな。Actually, this one we might want to wear gloves. Um, or do we? 
天野先生のね、最新関係星のドントレールのとこの特装ボックス。はい、というわけでちょっとコレクターズエディションを今回物理アイテムですねご紹介しましたちょっと待ってね IL あげるからね<笑> So these are the physical、um, components of the collector's edition Yeah I'd like to get my hands on one to、uh, give a proper on, review I don't think I'd use the assuming it is a mouse pad but、uh, probably put it on the wall or something Okay <laughs> Oh someone's gonna さあさあ yoink that じゃあ Eyes on that、まあ、box security コレクターズエディションがねこんな感じになってます、so This is our collector's edition physical items. Yeah, if it's not mouse pad, it's just something to put up. That's just fine. I prefer it that way. It looks、uh, very flimsy. Yeah, it's just a cloth map. 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 ありがとうございます。お、ちょっと聞いてみようかな。ちなみに ARR から全部のコレクターズエディション持ってるぞっていう方いらっしゃいますか ？Just out of curiosity,、um, who here has collected all of the collector's editions since ARR? すごい。ありがとうございます。Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know which is worse, the mouse pad or the OG rap collector's box. Oh god, I think I've got that in there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 コレクターズエディションのアイテムをご紹介したいと思います。Okay, so we、went over the physical It's 215 Next, I would、like、to talk about the digital It's a big ask. えー、その前に、oh, here it comes, それに関係する動画をちょっと短いですけど、ご覧いただこうと思います。Here it comes.、Um, so、in, regards, or in relation to that, we brought a short video to show you.、Uh, please roll video. Rap bastards. ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、ちょっとこうね。え、
それから Mac、えー、Steam を除く Windows と Mac 版でプレイされている方で、えー、コレクターズエディションを買うぞという方は、えー、一番上のコレクターズエディションを買っていただければゲームもついてくるし、えー、さっきご紹介したあの物理アイテムもついてくるし今ご紹介したインゲームアイテムもついてきます。So, if you are playing on a Windows or Mac,、uh, not Steam, I'm sorry,、um, but that would be the top row where you see that collector's edition. This is the whole bundle where the game,、uh, the expansion, the physical goods, and the in game items come in one package.、えー、そして、PlayStation 4、PlayStation 5、えー、Xbox、そして Steam でプレイされている方で、さっきご紹介した物理の、えー、コレクターズ購入されたい方は、グッズだけのボックスというのがあるのでそれとこの下にあるデジタルコレクターズエディションを購入していただければ I don't know how FF14 does like copies to give away、um, like, So usually if you get a bunch are playing Blizzard, on a PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X or S、uh, or Steam So we have the physical items packaged by themselves as a collector's box and then the digital items would be bundled into the digital collector's edition How much are they charging、edition. just to get the,、えー、the box and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> 物理はいいんだとマウントアークを早くよこせという方はデジタルコレクターズエディションを買っていただければ大丈夫です。150 items, um, you don't care about the physical、Oof. items, just give me the arc mount. That's heavy. <laughs> Then you can go for the digital collector's edition. えー、そして最後、スタンダードエディション、あの何もついてこないノーマルのパッケージです。And then finally, we have our standard edition. Game,、eh? This is just the expansion. えー、多分この会場にいる方と。配信をご覧の皆様にはあのスタンダードエディションは多分関係ないです。You think that statue is worth 155? さあというわけで、えー、ちょっとね複雑に SKU になっていますが、これら改めて、えー、ウェブサイトの方でも詳細説明されますので、えー、ご確認いただければと思います。So, yeah, I understand it's a bit complicated, so we will be having a website set up so that it explains the different lineups. o、um, if you wanted to get more details, we encourage you to. Maybe it's because I don't really、page. want a Viper statue. <laughs> It was a badass cryo p i x e m a n statue. Maybe. And another point of caution, and you may be familiar with this,、uh, since Endwalker, we have not produced a physical disc version of the game or the expansion itself. So, yeah, I miss that、um, so much. Please be much, warned、um, if you go into like, a game retailer, you will not find the standard edition disc there anymore. It's、yeah. all digital download only. I miss a box copy of the game, just、okay. a little case, a little book. Yeah, yeah. So good. Do you remember they started selling the case with no fucking disc in it? Yeah, I wouldn't mind if it was on USB these days. Is that any fine? Like a cool little USB stick with the game on? So, of course, with the different updates that we're making, including the graphical updates, I'm afraid we will have to adjust the system requirements for your platform. Yeah, they will have to adjust the system requirements for your platform. えー、これまでにお話ししてきた部分とちょっと一箇所だけ変更させていただけると助かります。There are some badass custom USB sticks there. Which is the singular point、um, on this chart of system requirements. Windows の環境で CPU、必須の環境の場合に、Intel Core i7 の6700というふうに表記させていただいてたんですが、ここを7700にちょっと変更させてください。So, originally on the Windows platform, the, required, the minimum system requirements indicated Intel Core i7 6700 series or higher.、Um, we are going to be bumping it up to require the 7700 series. Why is it that the CPU of the 6700 CPU is not going to be able to use the graphics board? Oh, this drive is all new. That's why it's changing to a USB stick. Like a little badass USB stick with a model on it. I'd be down for that. There's something nice about the tactile feel of the box. Especially if you've got like a shelf for them all in it. I think it's the reason people still buy Blu rays. I think it's the reason people still buy Blu rays. 
Um, so there are a couple of reasons why we had to bump this up. Um, one is because with some combinations, the CPU and the graphics board um, seems to have seen issues in performance. So um, that's one reason. And then uh, it seems there was an announcement that uh, the 6700 uh, will no longer be supported on the Windows platform. And it was announced uh, last year that that support uh, was ending. This is what so Gray to Gear gave me for that, Pack Pack um, too. It was so better like to a bump it card. up uh, so that we'll have a, a supported a um, CPU. So I'm Very hoping nice. that everybody is OK on their machines, but just in case, you might want to double check your CPU. Nice one, just slap it in the wallet. Hey, so she, How bad? It's a little bit important, but HDD, hard disk, the amount of space you can fit. And another thing, the, um, let's see, the HDD available disk space. Yes, um, I, I use hope you were able to secure yes. <laughs> enough space for the game to be downloaded God, you remember listening to your hard drive spin up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet there's somebody here who's still working, working on a physical hard drive, aren't they? Somebody here is not on an SSD. Guaranteed. Um, with the graphical updates, um, a lot of high-res um, materials will need to be downloaded into the game, and so tape drives. Size, oh my god! Size will Fucking be tape quite drives. Big, so please be advised. <laughs> I still use cassette tape like a fucking champ. But we have hard drives in our server. Yeah, we have physical magnetic drives in our server. And of course, for those of you who play on the Mac platform, we have updated the requirements on that as well. Um, again, we will have a website available to uh, reference for these different uh, details of your machine specs. Hi. Dewa. I have yet to game on a Mac. It has never come up. I have never gamed on a Mac. Okay, so we announced the early fine. access and release dates, so let's go into pre-ordering the expansion. Okay. Of course, we'd like to talk about I write all the code uh, the out in chalk on a blackboard and then put it through a scanner to read each command. As a day, right? Pre-order, you have to order a minion jitan, and then a so, of course, when you pre-order, these are the in-game items that you will receive: a Zidane minion and then an Azima earring. Yeah, why is Stein getting overlooked again? Final Fantasy IX Oshi desu ga. Yeah, the FF9 theme is very noticeable. I'm just buying so but... I've got a the stomach reason is a secret. <laughs> I'm not sure if the old one was off. Azima earring, in terms of level 90, the monster was lost. The total experience is 30% up. Solution 9, FF9. Demonics confirmed. Mass um, cloning so projects going on in Solution earrings, 9. Um, this is similar to the last pre-order bonus, but um, whenever you defeat an enemy, the experience points that you receive um, If we can include the chemtrails into this, I think we and might then, have a clue. Um, the stats on the accessory itself will also kind of scale as your player is uh, leveling your character. So yeah, it, it does limit become quite advantageous Are we looking to get a similar story? All jobs are getting trans. Limit Break has been replaced. So of course, we want a more um, fulfilling gameplay experience, so we've removed Limit Break, access. and now we have trans. <laughs>、ちょっと忘れないでくださいね。今回の拡張が初めての14の拡張って方もいらっしゃると思うんで。<laughs> oh, no. Um, so, of course, I do want to caution you because uh, there may be some of you who are purchasing an expansion for the first time with Dawn Trail. アーリーアクセスの権利がないのでやったー6月28から遊べるって言って予約を忘れてるとみんなこうバーって夏休み行ってるのに自分だけ7月2日までまたなきゃいけなくなるので注意してくださいね um, so you need to make sure you have pre-ordered the expansion in order to gain early access. So if you don't pre-order, while everybody's going on summer vacation, June 28th, and you realize, wait, I haven't pre-ordered, so you have to wait until the actual release, which is July the 2nd. So um, if you want early access, you might want to pre-order. <laughs> 
Go back, make that cash! 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 Make I can't remember the exact timer. I think Endwalker came out when I was playing. It will be one set time globally, so it's on the disclaimer down here at 9 a.m. PDT. But the rest is local time, 9 a.m. Let's see, America would be West Coast time, but. Hey, so stay. Saki go show guys the. Just wait a minute. Kore. Kono two no item wa. プレオーダーしていただいたのが確認でき次第レターモーグリがすぐに皆さんのところに運びに行きますので 7.0 を待たずにアイテムをお届けしますのでぜひ早めの予約をお願いいたしますそしてそしてそして in game bonuses that you receive with pre-ordering will be delivered to you via delivery moogle as soon as we are able to confirm the pre-order so you are able to access these before the expansion launches まあただねちょっと不安なのがね予約サイトがダウンしなきゃいいなっていう。No, FOMO refers to the people who are like, well, I'm not going to pre-order to see if it's any good, and then you see all your friends playing, and you're like, well, I just want to play the game. あとこうレターモーグルたちがもう無理くぽ疲れたくぽって。It's out now, and I could be playing. In our poor delivery moogles, they may be like, oh, I'm so tired. I want to play. まあいずれにせよちょっと予約をしていただいた方から順次アイテムすぐにねお届けしてまいりますのでぜひ予約の方よろしくお願いします。That said, we will be delivering these in-game items as we confirm your pre-order, so we would encourage you to do so. Internet required here. Trail expansion. Skipping a little bit. Skipping a little bit. Box East の方でですね、Final Fantasy VI のパネルがございました。That said, I know there was a panel on Final Fantasy XVI just yesterday. Panel を見ていたらですね、Final Fantasy XVI のプロデューサーの吉田 P がですね。Mr. Sailo. Solution I was just explained in the last few seconds, and you missed it. Crossover Quest のあの開始日、吉田 P 発表していいよって言ってくれたんで。Mentioned that, oh yeah, Final Fantasy XIV producer director, you're welcome to announce the crossover quest line release date. というわけで、七月二日からスタートさせていただきます。No shit. So that April second is going to be the date that the crossover quest line will become available. まあ約一ヶ月ですね。七月入ったらすぐにスタートしますので、ぜひぜひご期待ください。So it will begin as soon as we enter the month of April. So I hope you take a look. Are we getting a popper? Yeah, but the sixteen PC 版を楽しみにお待ちくださってる方もいると思いますので、今回のクロスオーバークエストは、I want it to be the sixteen vibe. Sixteen の story の物語の序盤とのクロスオーバーになっているので、極端な強いネタバレはできるだけしないように。でも報酬が豪華になるように。Everyone's dead, and somebody's eating babies. It's like some shit's going on. And of course, we understand that there are players of Final Fantasy 16 who are looking forward to the PC release. So we don't want to spoil the story for those who are on 14 who are waiting for 16. So the crossover content kind of covers like the the first part of the game without any spoilers. But we have made sure that the rewards are very robust. So I hope you look forward to that. So we might get some sit then. Yeah, I wonder if it's closer to the 15 one where you just kind of like lost in the 14 universe and like all confused. And of course, it it did take a while, but the team worked really hard, and we were able to announce the implementation date. So I believe we do have landing pages, web pages that give us the details on these. まあクエストのスタートがどこなのかどんな報酬がもらえるのか細かい情報すべてウェブサイトの方に記載されておりますのでぜひこの公演が終わってページが開いたら内容チェックよろしくお願いします
Um, I think you will be able to find details about, say, where the quest giver is and things like that. So once the page does open up, I don't even think we'll get already, a free right, uh, Braga, because it's, not, it's uh, kind of later in the game you get the actual free situation. Of course it is, for Bruce. I think that um, we are approaching the end. We ain't no one game Andy's round here. Actually. Yeah, I mean the Clive no, free link. No, there's too much spoilers. I can't avoid spoilers. <laughs> Maybe it's spoilers, Clive and Joshua. So. That would make sense. No. I'm sorry. I only heard the cheers. I was curious to know what that guy was saying. <laughs> I didn't see any spiders similar to POE 1, but I would highly suspect there are creepy spiders in 2. I would be surprised if not. I didn't face anything that was like spider-based. All that I know is. But I would be guaranteed there are going to be spiders in POE 2. Um, so yeah, today was the announcement for the release timing, and so we will be conducting uh, a media tour towards the beginning of May-ish, um, and we do plan on revealing more information in the lead up to Don. A media tour. And so in graphics and of course, in April, we plan to do another letter from the producer live to yeah. talk about the graphical updates. Uh, no! Utilizing <laughs> actual in game, um, uh, yeah, using no. in game. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Um, but yeah, the team is working really hard, and I think we're reaching the peak of our development uh, production. And uh, I actually am also reviewing the materials that come up and in my hotel room. <laughs> uh, reviewing the material in his hotel room. All right. All right. Um, so the team is working really hard, so uh -huh. just a little bit more of your patience would be definitely appreciated. We will watch the live letter, but I mean, we may be a bit of skippers. It's like, look at this Alison ear. Look at this fucking ear. Look at it. Oh, what an ear. Look at this tree. What an awesome fucking tree this is. Best tree I've ever seen in my life. Watch it all. Um, so once again, I would like to just look back at the 10 years of ARR. What a sick stone by this riverbank. Look at the polygons on this. Um, just how much support we've received from players around the world and just how appreciative I am of you all. It'd be better if they just showed a variety of glands side by side. That would get the... That would and get everybody the reason all why nice we were able toasty. to get this far in our journey is just truly, truly, truly because of the players, our warriors of light. MMO gamers in general care about their polygons. I am shocked that one of the biggest complaints about Thunderstorm has been having to reset your mog every time you go in. I'm like, who the fuck is sorting out their transmog for Thunderstorm? Every game. Who's doing that? Why? You can't even see your fucking character. Like, who's doing that? Bring you Final Fantasy XIV. It's important. It's important. Thank you. Bye. Yay, Ashi P! Alright, pretty good. The focus on the multiplayer was definitely a really nice... Uh, the focus on the multiplayer was a fantastic, fantastic thing to hear. Really curious what the new gameplay style is going to be to make it a bit more dynamic. It'll apply to all, probably, uh, PvE content. I really would love to see something on the dungeons to make them more dynamic. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a huge lot of fun. Solo stuff's probably just going to stay as it is and then keep ticking over, I guess. I think that's pretty good. It's like plates. It's important. Not when you can't even see the plate, right? Uh, 7.3 is um, 
their current goal for having everything in place. So we'll probably see some early signs of it in the beginning. But obviously, the uh, the first patch is going to be MSQ focused and the early bosses. Oh, the launch. It'll be also all content we had in Shadowbringers and Endwalker combined. I think it, I think they're on track for a really, really solid launch, which they could do with right now. Uh, that would be... I, everything seems pretty rock solid right now. Everything seems pretty good. Uh, my game plan still stands to play some Pictomancer at the start and give everybody, like, probably till the normal release before we jump into the MSQ. Uh, I think for our community in general, most people will be sort of, like, consuming Dawn Trail pretty hardcore from the release date. So I think I'm probably going to go that way. But we'll see. Um, Jesse asked... Wait, does Jesse know he's going on the media tour? Because I don't. 